guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I am going to be showing you how I get ready. So before I start, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell down below so you're notified whenever we have new videos. Alright guys, so let's get started. I am starting with a fresh face. Um, I've cleaned my face already and I'll be starting with my moisturizer. It is a gel-based formula from uh, Neutrogena. It's their Hydro Gel Boost line. And uh, I use water-based products for my skincare just to make sure that I don't get oily because I have really oily skin. I'm now moving on to my serum. This one is from Izzy & Co. and it's for all skin types. And I do this because I want to make sure that my makeup glides on my face and yeah, it makes your makeup look a lot better and it helps everything set in. And it's good for your skin. So I'm moving on now to covering my pores. Well, not covering my pores because I know we all have them. But yeah, I am going to be applying a primer. This one is from Revolution Pro and it's their Hydra Matte Primer. And I'll just uh, put that on my skin, just rubbing it in there. Yeah, just rub it in that skin, girl. Put it in there down my neck and we're done now moving on to my foundation I don't use foundation I mean I used to use foundation but then I stopped because I found it too sticky especially here in the Philippines um, I just bought this product from Izzy & Co again it's their active skin tint it has SPF 35 UVB and UVA and it's an oil free tinted moisturizer with Niacinamide. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but yeah, that's what I'm using now. And it's a light coverage. I like it light co coverage. I only wear full coverage whenever I go to work, which was back in Dubai. And if I ever go out, like partying, which I haven't done in a year. I'm just rubbing that in my neck. Just want to make sure that the colors blend in. And my eyes. Yeah, that's a blemish. No, that's not a blemish. That's a pimple. I've been breaking out lately really bad, guys, ever since I came home. Um, my pimples have been really bad, which is so sad. So I'm going in to cover my acne or my pimples with Pro Conceal HD High Definition from LA Girl. And I'm just dabbing it in the areas that I need them. I've got a lot of spots, guys. Stab, dab, 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 dab that woman. Now I'm going in with my concealer brush and I'm blending that in. I normally use a light hand whenever I blend in my concealer because I want to make sure that it does go in my skin well. Um, normally I would just use my fingertips but for this vlog I've gone in with a brush because I just want to make it seem more hygienic <laughs> even though I started with my hands on my face. But yeah, so I'm just blending that in now making sure that it's covered. secret to putting on your makeup is blending and we're done and I'm so happy now I'm gonna contour my nose which does not exist but I will make it exist I'm just going in with my Bobbi Cosmetics Gleam Squad contour palette um, I'm just blending that down my nose I want to make it seem like I have a smaller nose. Blend, 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 girl. Blend that in. And I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm going in with my concealer now from Maybelline Fit Me. 
and it, it is in the shade 20. So as you can see, I'm going down the middle of my nose, down the sides of my nose where I contoured, and in between my eyebrows. And I've got to cover up those bags, girls. So I'm covering up my eye bags and blending that in again with my concealer brush. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going up my eye as well because I just want to make sure that it sticks up there and when I put my eyeshadow it blends nicely and evenly and the colors are nice. Now I'm done going to the other side. I've had eye bags since, I don't know, since I was a kid, since I was born. I was actually born a stress kid because you would literally see me walking on the streets with eye bags on my face and I never know how I actually got them. But yeah, I'm blessed. We are all blessed with imperfections. We just gotta know how to work with them, honey. So I'm going in with my powder now. This one is from Revolution Pro again. Um, it's part of their Hydra Matte line. So I'm going in with my powder brush, down my baggies, sides of my nose again, and I'm gonna leave it there for a while just to have it bake. Because I get really oily and since I've been here in the Philippines, I sweat a lot so my makeup tends to run down. So now going in with doing my eyebrows, I am again using my Bobbi Cosmetics palette because I like my eyebrows to be light but there. I don't like thick eyebrows. Not thick eyebrows in a sense, but I don't like it to be fully shaded. So my tip is if you like natural looking eyebrows, make sure whenever you're filling them, do not fill them as the way you'd fill them outside. So you can see I'm flicking outwards on the side, but then when I reach the middle part of my eyebrows or the end part towards my nose, I just go ever so lightly. And then I just blend that in. So I'm done with that middle shade and I'm gonna be moving to the darker shade or the outer part of my eyebrows because I want there to be some contrast like you know I want to make my eyebrows look there but still natural I'm just shaping that in where I have sparse hair and then going into the middle ever so lightly again I've always thought about getting my eyebrows done, but then I know that there's this microblade thing out there, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe eyebrow trends might change, like how they're changing now. What if in the future you look good without eyebrows? But yeah. Okay, now I'm going in my brow gel from Vice Cosmetics. And um, this was actually a gift from a relative and I've been using it ever since because I love it. Um, normally when I'm home and I just feel like I want to look good, I just throw in that brow gel and I'm good with that. And a little bit of concealer. But since we are vlogging or I am making this vlog, then yeah, putting on my eyebrows. I'm now going to move on with my eyeshadow. And normally for vlogs, I want to look a bit natural, but still glammed up, so I don't really go full out, full on out with my makeup. So I'm going in with Beauty Glazed palette. I think this is a dupe from for the James Charles palette. But yeah, so it's a it's called the Beauty Glaze Color Studio, and I'm blending in that color orange and that color brown that I showed you earlier. So 
so I'm blending that in and here I feel like I put on too much product so I'm gonna go on to the other side and try to do the same just so they look even and I'm just gonna move on now to my eyelid I'm putting in that glimmery pink and that glimmery champagne color um, on my lids I like to do this because I still like to keep my look natural I know when you say natural natural means you know nice looking skin and blah 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 but what I mean is I don't want to go on full out with my makeup I'm going in with the same shade the inner corner of my eyes And I'm just going to go back with my blending brush and blend both colors together so they have a more natural look. And they bind together well. <sighs> Moving on to eyeliner. Um, normally for vlogs, like I said, I don't like to go on full out. So I still use the same palette. I'm going in with a darker brown shade. And then I'm going to go in with a black a little bit later on. I'm starting with the outer corner of my eyes, dragging that in to the center of my eyelid, and then I'm going to move on to the other side. Normally when I would work or when I was working, I would go on heavy with my makeup because it is what was needed over there um, I would go in with my eyeliner but for the sake of this video and since we're here I'm just gonna go with this darker shade of eyeshadow and use it as an eyeliner so here you can see I am starting from the outer corner of my eye bringing it in and then I go back and wing it out I mean, who does not like doing wings? Wings are a girl's best friend. Winged eyeliners, I mean, guys. So here, I may have put on a bit too much product, so I will be going in with a Q-tip to clean that up. And... I think a Q-tip is another girl's best friend. Gotta clean that up. Clean, clean, clean. Alright, so now I'm going into the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to be putting in some black eyeshadow. Same eyeshadow I use for the outer corners. And I just want to look like a bit more of a cat. Now we're done with the eyeliner and I am brushing off the powder that I put on earlier and I'm blending it into my areas where I normally get oily and under my eyes just so the concealer stays there and doesn't rub off. Alright, so moving on now to blush. The blush that I'm using again is from Izzy & Co. It is their... Oh. oh, it's actually a cream tint and the color is Desert Rose. So I got this because it is very handy. You can use it both on your cheeks and on your lips. Um, and it's not like those tints that you normally get that are liquid and they normally just annoy you. This one is cream and it's so comfortable to wear. It's so easy to use and it just glides on your skin. So I'm blending that into my cheeks. Putting on my nose just to give it more a natural blush. And now I'm going to contour my face with the same Bobbi Cosmetic palette. I'm just going to draw that in first. And then I'm going to blend. 
contour just makes your face look different. Just makes everything look so much better together. Now I'm going to put that product on the, my forehead, the airport, where all the airplanes land. No pun intended, but yeah. I'm putting that on my temples, and now I'm going to blend that in. So this is another tip for all the girls out there who have the same huge ass forehead that I have. You should always have your contour palette with you, handy, so you can contour that forehead away. Not that having a huge forehead is bad, but yeah. I'm blending that in now, my jawline, because I did gain weight coming home, just to hide that extra baby fat. And now I'm going in with my highlighter. This highlighter is from Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Glow Hello Halo. And it is in shade Gilded Glow. I love, 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 love this highlighter. I've never gone with any other highlighter after I tried this one just because it glides on my skin so nicely. It looks so effortless and it looks so freaking natural. It just gives you that shade of pop and you know makes you look so sun-kissed and natural and everything. And now I'm going to be doing my lips. Um, I am lining my lip with NYX's Professional Makeup a Matte Lip Liner. Um, I have no idea what the shade is. Oh, I think it's Brunch Me. And I love this shade. Again, because I'm going for a natural look. I don't want to go too heavy. But yeah, when I'm at work, I would normally put on a red lipstick. Comment down below, guys, if you'd like to see a video of me putting on my makeup that I would normally wear at work. So I'm blending that in with my finger because, again, I believe that the best way to blend your makeup is with your fingers because your hands are naturally warm. So I'm now going in with my lip gloss. This one is from Revolution Pro. And I'm just blending that in again with my finger. Moving on to mascara, putting on that mascara. I, mean, I think that mascara is another girl's best friend because putting on mascara just makes you look beautiful, makes your eyes pop, especially if you're not a fan of eyelashes, which I am not. Like I said earlier, I tend to go for a more natural look and I know that girls out there love to put eyelashes and I have absolutely nothing against that. I, th I think that they look absolutely gorgeous when they put on those lashes, but it's just not for me. So we're done. So this is the final look. I uh, played up my hair and I put some bangs down. I don't normally put these bangs down, but yeah, today I decided to do them. My friends in high school used to call this a cockroach bangs because you look like a cockroach. I'm not saying I look like a cockroach, but yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this video, and um, if you'd like to see more of these types of videos on our channel, please comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and keep shining like a star! See you in our next video!